tips to writing effective descriptions and tags hey are you are you doing videos and you know you got to do that description and tags there but you're kind of avoiding it because there's all that white space there and you're not really sure what you're supposed to do well in this video I'm gonna help you out you've come to the right place in this video I'm gonna go through what you should put on those YouTube videos what descriptions you should put what tags you should put to get real results and have people interact with your YouTube videos and we're starting right now hey I'm JR Fisher and welcome to my channel if you're new to my channel don't forget to subscribe go down there and hit that subscribe button just click that button and don't forget there's a bell next to it what's that bell for well that bell is to notify you when I do a new video but you have to turn on all notifications to do that now I've been selling online since 2009 oh my gosh a long time now and I've been selling digital products I've been selling physical products and I've learned some stuff along the way and guess what I do I share it with you on this very channel I've got my own branded products on thousands of websites including Walmart so we've done pretty good and I want to share those tips and tricks with you so you can get results for your business number one is write searchable descriptions okay so when YouTube is bringing back search results for any particular subject that somebody searched for they look at several different things they look at the title of the video they look at the description of the video they also look at the tags in the video and get this they actually listen to what you say in the video so it's super important that what you're saying in your title and your description is stuff that people want to know and things that you're actually saying in the video if you don't say it in the video it's not going to get you search results don't think you can clickbait people by putting one thing in the description and then the video being about something entirely different you want to have a really natural description so you want to give an overview of what your video videos actually about in that description and it's got to flow it's got to seem natural it can't just be a bunch of words now I will tell you this your main keywords you want to put those in the beginning of the description and in the beginning of the title because that's the first thing that YouTube's gonna see and like I said if you've identified like two or three keywords which are the main keywords for that video make sure you put them in the title and the description and they're also in the tags if all of those things match up and somebody's searching that term you'll have a much better chance of your video coming up in the top of the search results now if you're not sure what's popular use Google Trends it's trends.google.com you can go there and search just about any subject and what Google Trends will do is it'll tell you what people are searching is that search going up is it going down is it flat what direction is it going the next thing I highly recommend and you can get it in the description below is TubeBuddy TubeBuddy's awesome what TubeBuddy does is they actually look at the words that are being used in YouTube on a daily basis and it helps you find the keywords that are going to be best for your video it helps you in the description it helps you in the tags helps you in everything and you can get that in the description below it's free link down there you don't even have to buy it. they do have a paid version but you don't have to get that but use that link below there and grab TubeBuddy I highly recommend it another great tool you can use you'll actually find in your Google Ads account now I highly recommend you set up a Google Ads account even if you don't plan on running ads now you probably will later but what it does is it gives you access to tools in there one of them is the keyword planner if you set up your account you can go into keyword planner and you can actually see how much search volume there is for different particular keywords now keyword planner will also suggest other related keywords that may actually be even better than the ones you thought of and this is based on what people are searching for and since it's based on that that's what you want because you know that's where your videos are going to show up because they've already searched for them next thing you want to do is avoid irrelevant keywords I see people doing this all the time they put keywords in there that are not related to that actual search this is not only gonna hurt you because you've taken up space with words that aren't necessary but it will also hurt the ratings of that video and it'll make it come up lower in the search results now if you notice here the words morning yoga is in the title and the description and if somebody's searching morning yoga guess what this video is going to come up higher in the search results so, so this is a really 
really good example of what you need to be doing with all of your videos now the next thing you want to do is you want to maximize your description now, how are you going to maximize your description well when they see the video it's not going to show the whole description they're going to have to click the little button that says see more but they are going to see part of that description now in a lot of my descriptions I have my free course there but you could also put the first line of uh, some benefit for watching that video there but it, it needs to be something that they're going to look at it and go I want more of this I want to click more and see more here so maximize the use of that and they also have a, a maximum amount that you can put in there but try to get as close to that as possible because why would you leave any spot unfilled if you've got this opportunity to sell the person on whatever it is that you're trying to get them to do if you've run out of things to put in your description matter of fact I would do this anyhow is add other useful links in your description now if you go to the description of my videos you're gonna find links to Amazon products you're gonna find links to some of my courses in there you're gonna find links to get more information to download things so make really good use of that now you don't have to write these every single time you can put these in your default uploads if you put it in the default uploads it's automatically gonna put it in the description for you every single time that you upload a video I understand you want to kind of emulate what other people are doing but make sure you have an original title don't copy somebody else's title word for word you want yours to stand out a little bit if they get search results and they see five videos and they all say the same exact thing then you're kind of lost in the mix um, it's gonna be dependent upon your thumbnail or some other thing whether they click on it so I would say have a unique title that's similar to what other people have on their videos but a little bit different now in the description it doesn't just have to be a description of the video it can be interactive type links that are gonna help you build your channel you may have a subscribe now button right there you may have a visit our website button right there you may have timestamps I love timestamps because you can actually go through your video and figure out at what time something occurs put it in that actual description below and when people have that in the description and when you save it and they click on it it'll actually go to that point in the video automatically now the next thing I would tell you to do is use playlists playlists are so important because you can put three or four or five or ten videos that are all related to the same subject in a playlist and once it's in a playlist that person on YouTube that's watching that subject will tend to watch more videos on that playlist and that increases your watch time now the next thing you want to do is measure your effectiveness when we write these descriptions it's what we see on our laptop or our iPad whatever we're writing but it comes across differently when they look at it on different devices so what I would do is suggest that you measure the effectiveness by writing your description and then looking at it on a desktop computer looking at it on an iPad you know or a tablet and looking at it on a cell phone to see what it looks like there because it does come across differently on every one of these devices now the next thing you can do is you can actually help your video show up in the YouTube results because you can look at any one of your videos and click on analytics and you can actually see what words people were typing in to actually get to that video and then you can actually optimize it even more now some steps to make that video stand out even more every time you upload a video it's gonna prompt you to put a description in there please don't avoid that description area by not putting anything in there and I know I was guilty of this you say well guys I've filmed this video and I've done the tags I've done a good title that should be enough it's not okay a lot of your money is actually going to be made off the description whether it be you know Amazon affiliate links in there whether it be giveaways or downloads that type of thing and the description of the video too so please 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 don't forget to put a good description in now a couple of these tools you can actually use together now like I said in the beginning you can actually have a default upload in other words certain things that are automatically going to be in the description but I wouldn't suggest you actually doing that for every single video the same now you can for basic information so maybe you have some links there maybe you have some courses you want to give away maybe you have some opt-ins that can be fine for a default upload but make sure the actual description of the video is customized to every single video that you do you cannot use the same upload for every single video because that doesn't really describe that video every video is going to be a little bit different now here's something cool that just came out on YouTube not too long ago is hashtags you can actually use hashtags and I recommend you putting these in your default upload you can put hashtag e-commerce or hashtag make money online whatever it is and as soon as you do that it's actually going to take those hashtags and put it above your title right below the video so people will actually see those and it also helps people in searching for particular subjects to find your videos and they're gonna come up higher in the search results now you want to be careful with these hashtags because I see people you know hashtag 10 15 20 times I wouldn't do that 
at because keep in mind these are going to be placed right above your title so two or three are sufficient now if your videos are really different from each other like maybe they're on the same subject maybe you do movie reviews well you may have a hashtag for Godzilla in one and a hashtag for I don't know hunting in another one depending on what the movie was but make sure that they actually match that particular video especially if you're doing something like a, a movie review or product reviews if it's a product review you want a hashtag of whatever that product is now ours is pretty much make money online and e-commerce and that type of thing so we can use a lot of the same hashtags on many of our videos but if you're on a subject that's not like that you want to be very careful in doing that and make sure you don't put too many of them there now something else you can do is if there's something in the news there's something that trends right now you can actually put a hashtag on that subject so an example would be maybe I was making videos on how to make money uh, in the stock market and the stock markets going through the roof you may put hashtag Trump okay because it has something to do with an actual stock market right now or hashtag Trump economy or whatever it is that's trending I may want to put that on the video itself and I'll get a little bit more extra traction the next thing you want to do is make your descriptions advertiser friendly and here's why because when I'm running an ad on YouTube I can exclude certain words if they're in the video and the one big thing is profanity so if you have profanity in your videos if you have it in the descriptions you're gonna be missing out on some ad dollars because there's a lot of advertisers that won't allow it even if you say well I'm doing this as comedy I'm doing it you know as a joke you know the the algorithm doesn't know that all it knows is that it sees profanity in there or it sees some words that are political it'll a lot of advertisers want to stay away from profanity and political views and all that type of stuff so if you put that into your video uh, be aware that you could be losing some advertising dollars the biggest thing I can tell you is that you want this stuff to be accurate you want your descriptions to be accurate you want all your tags to be accurate you don't want to have anything in there that doesn't really match and I know a lot of people will do this because they say well that way I'll get more people to watch my video and I can get a bigger crowd but you really won't what happens is it actually dilutes the actual tags that you already have there and you'll have a lower chance of that video coming up in the search results now the next thing I want to tell you is in TubeBuddy TubeBuddy is pretty awesome because and I'm gonna and I'm gonna have a link in the description down there you can actually click and get to buddy there's a free version you can get there's also a paid version but go ahead and grab the free one if you want but use that link below there if you use that link and you actually get to buddy if you ever decide to upgrade you can get a 30% discount or you can actually get a 30% discount today but what TubeBuddy does is when you go in to put in your tags it automatically populates right below where your tags are and it gives you suggested other tags it's so hard to think of all this stuff but a program like TubeBuddy is in there every Every day and all day long they're actually looking at what tags people are searching for and they put those in the algorithm so it's going to give you these suggestions that you probably would never think of and they're going to be really useful to you so I highly recommend you checking out TubeBuddy because that can really help you out if you do these things in your descriptions and your tags you're going to get more views your videos are going to come up higher in the search results and you're probably going to get more interaction and if you get all those things it actually helps you build your business and don't forget Get, I told you I'm gonna give you a course it's a $97 course you can get it absolutely free don't need a credit card or any of that stuff just click the link in the description and grab it now have you already done any descriptions have you done tags are you having problems with them please put that information in the description below I'd love to hear about it love to help you out if I can do so now another thing I want you to do if you haven't done so is what subscribe come on you got to subscribe you got to become part of the Fisher family that big subscribe button down there you gotta click it and next to it there's a bell it sounds like really try it click that button down there you're gonna see it sounds like a bell and as soon as you click it guess what you got to turn on all notifications that makes you a VIP you are gonna be notified before anybody else of my videos will actually send you a personalized email to say JR did a video here it is and you'll have a link to go directly there you don't have to search for it you don't have to wait you don't have to know when it's available so make sure you do that I really appreciate you listening to this video and I'll see you on the next one Hey, thanks for watching my video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click that little bell right there so you can be notified every time I do a new video. Also, click on one of those videos there. Keep watching on my channel.